be a great weekend, very busy weekend, and I'm really excited. I ended up with United Lifters, super funny meme king on my flight, connecting from California. I'm stalking her, that's how great I am. <laughs> Colin is not making it. Only Courtney got on their flight because Colin is too sick. Bummed about that, that I don't have my coach, but it'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Last year when I came to the Arnold, if you've been following my channel for long enough, you know I missed my flight on the way here and I still ended up crushing the meat last year so just a little bump in the road have a little substitute coaching going on Travis Cooper is going to be my head coach for the meet I have known him for a very long time and lifted with him many times and it's gonna be great he's a great handler and a great card counter and I know we will make a good team at the meet but anyways just got to the Airbnb and I'm checking it out now super cute little apartment so cute I'll let Courtney have this room, and I'm gonna take this room, the blue room. It's kind of crazy, I already met a bunch of people that were on my flight, some lifters from all around the city of Atlanta that I had the opportunity to meet, which is cool because I'll probably end up lifting with them at their gym at some point. It's going to be a very busy weekend for me, I can already tell, but it's going to be fun and exciting. I'm pretty much just going to be laying low the rest of the day. Today's Wednesday, and I just need to rest, get my work done. I did some of it on the plane, but I got a bunch more emails to answer. My clients are being so sweet and sending their check-ins early so I don't have to work on Friday. And I'm just chugging some water because I'm water loading these last two days before the meet on Friday. It's time to get skinny. <laughs> it's pretty much guaranteed if you pack supplements in your checked bag, you're gonna get one of these uh, fun, we went through all your crap papers when you open your suitcase. <laughs> Looks like they went through my Pop-Tarts. Got my scale, got a bagel for tomorrow. Low volume for high carbs, a bagel. Get like 50 carbs in a bagel for not a huge amount of food. Gatorade chews for after weigh-in, extra electrolytes. Got a coconut chocolate bar because it's high fat. Another low volume food, but get a bunch of calories. This is Epsom salt in case I need to do a sweat bath. And then check out these supplements. I'm so organized. Carbs, BCAAs, egg white protein, serving of whey, serving of whey. Got my pre-workout that I still can't show you. It will be releasing very soon though, I promise. Or universal promises on my cameras. Insert that fancy electronic picture that looked all Pinterest ready here <laughs> that I took before I left. Day two here at the Arnold. I woke up at 63.8 today, so only 0.8 to cut. Feeling very good about that. And we don't have a car, we're Ubering everywhere. So last night I got a little carried away and used and abused the Amazon Prime now. Got all kind of goodies. I gotta show you guys what all I ordered for after the meet. <laughs> Most of this was Courtney's request. We had two pizzas, <laughs> four bags of Sour Patch Kids, which I thought were regular size, but they're big size. So we'll be making friends at the meet. <laughs> Cookie dough. Gonna make cinnamon rolls. All kind of monsters. Doritos. We're gonna come back a little bit thick from this meat. <laughs> but Courtney's here! Get that shit out of my face! <laughs> How do we get Courtney to like cameras better? <laughs> my face is so red. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> the place we're staying in is a renovated old hospital and Courtney just said that 10 people probably died in our little apartment before. In our room, just in our room. The training hall is at Rogue HQ, which is pretty cool. This place is massive where they make all of the Rogue equipment and they have a huge training facility inside. <laughs> That shirt though. <laughs> yes, my model is so hot.
Rudy wants to put Courtney on camera and she's freaking out. Who am I? <laughs> Just got back from the training hall, did some light lifts, 55 and 65 on snatch and clean and jerk and hit a 95 single on the front squat just to kind of prime my legs for tomorrow. T minus like 26 hours until weigh in. I'm going to be so bored. <laughs> It's day three at the Arnold. Today is game day for me. Woke up feeling just pumped and ready to go. Had to do a little sweat bath, taking the last bit of weight off, but feeling good. Don't have a headache or anything. Don't feel too depleted. Got 0.1 on weight to go and like an hour and a half before I go weigh in. So all that should be easy breezy. And got McDonald's ordered on the way from Uber Eats. I get my hotcakes like always. Crushed the way in, 62.96, right on the money. Super happy with that. And I'm feeling really good, rehydrating. And now getting my hotcakes. I can finally eat at 5 p.m. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hi, everyone. This is Pope. <laughs> Mary Catherine Peck. The London Weightlifting Club, Kristen Boat. For PSP Weightlifting, Jessica Lucero. Sarah Plus, you're on deck. I have to increase your steps. Katie Rikowski, you're in the hole itself. What is Kristen hitting today? Two minutes, there are one. Never done this before. Shy Shank, you're on deck. Lindsay Pace, you're in the hole. Okay, go look again for Shine Shake at 75. Let us tighten that bar one more time. Okay, so you're on next. 7 o'clock, Shine Shake. Two minutes. Which is what I have. I've never seen her this happy. This is going to be fing me. Come on, Pope. Shine Shake, you're on next. 7 o'clock, Shine Shake at 75. Let us tighten that bar one more time. You're in the hole at 86. One minute on the clock, Kristen Pope, 88 kilos, first and 10. Peck has gone up to 90. Solid over for Pope, 88 kilos, moving yourself into second place overall. Left. Peck has two attempts left. Come on. Come on. 
an intermission between our snatch and clean jerk. Come on, baby. Come on now. All right, barbell set. Punch, 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 punch. Box punch, punch. for Rich. <laughs> Barbell set. Clock is running for Richard. Taylor oh! <laughs> at 93. Lotus State Court at 93. So Pope will just have to wait and see if Pava hits this lift to see if she retains a, seat, a spot on the podium. Red, white, and blue. This girl is on fire. One minute of love, Lindsay Kane, Catalyst Athletics, second attempt. Very good. Total standing. Be tough. As well, third place for the clean jerk. Let us take apart 104 kilos for me, please. That'll bring up Kristen Pope for her opener. Let's go, come on. proud of myself probably the most proud I've ever been in either sport gymnastics or weightlifting is right now and I'm just ecstatic with what I did today good job I'm <laughs> well, thank, you. thank you good job snatch at 91 kilograms which is 200 pounds in the 63 kilogram weight class. I've hit 91 before at the Arnold last year but I was in the 69s, a very light 69 but still I wasn't a 63 when I did it before. One kilo under my training PR so I'm very pleased with that. I opened with 88 which is the highest I've ever opened and freaking smoked it. I was so amped and just ready to play. I did 85 as my last warm up in the back. Super easy. I knew I was going to smash 88 on my opener. So it was really exciting. Then took 91 on the second and missed it. Just a technical error. I didn't quite finish through my legs on my pull. And then corrected it and killed the 91. I think I did leave a few kilos 
on the platform first match. I think I could have made another attempt heavier for a new all-time PR, but that's okay. Really pleased with how I came back on the snatches. Mentally, it's tough to repeat. I, I think I followed myself. Yeah, I followed myself. So I had a two-minute clock and crushed it. It was very competitive. Like one after the other, we went 87, 88, 88, 89, 90, 91. We were all going back and forth in the 63s and it was a very exciting snatch session. Then on the clean and jerks, I opened at 104, which is definitely the highest I've ever opened. My PR clean and jerk in a meet is 105, so we opened one under that PR. I was trying really hard to hang with these other lifters. I was competing with Jessica Lucero and Mary Peck, and there was also another really good 63 in my class, but she was not competing for a USA spot. This was a Pan American team trials meet, so we were all fighting for a spot on the Pan Am team. So I opened at 104, very easy. We moved up to 108 for a new competition PR, which was also pretty easy. So exciting to be smashing PRs with good form, like technically sound lifts when they're the heaviest I've ever done. It's very exciting and very promising for new PRs around the corner. Then we loaded up 111. And uh, we originally were going to go 112, hoping that could possibly be enough. But Mary was looking super strong on the clean and jerk. And we knew that I actually no longer had a chance at the spot. It was between me and her at that point. I had already pulled ahead of Jessica Lucero. And uh, Mary and I were competing for the last spot, basically, because... Maddie Sasser competed in the trial session in the morning and her total was unreal. She went 6 for 6 and did 97, 124, I think. Huge total. She's amazing. And uh, so there was potentially one spot left for 63 and it was between me and Mary at that point. And we chose 111 instead of 112, being a little bit more aggressive because 111 would be a 1 kilo all time PR for me. So we loaded that up and. Uh, I made the clean, and I was confident in the lift, surprisingly. I'd never attempted anything over 110. I just hit 110 in training two weeks ago, and I'm really proud of myself how I approached the 111. Very confident in my ability that I could make that lift, and I made the clean, but it took every little bit out of me that I had left to stand it up, and I didn't have the legs to catch the jerk. I actually exploded upward with my jerk very well, but my legs were like shaking there in between the clean and the jerk and I just didn't have the, the catch. It was off. I was had all my weight in my heels. It was too far back and I missed it behind. But I'm very, very pleased with my performance. I kind of stayed quiet about my goal being making the Pan Am team because it was a very long shot for me and my progress in training had been coming along very rapidly so it was kind of hard to say what I was going to hit on game day and I'm very proud of myself. PR in the snatch, PR clean and jerk, PR total, to be hitting so close to the numbers I'm hitting in training, I just have a lot to hold my head high about. Even though I really wanted to make the Pan Am team, I know I'm not quite there yet. And I loved competing with Mary and with Jess, and it was so much fun. Like, I've never really been in the mix at the top of the senior level, and my name was in the conversation finally, and... I know there were some things said on the live stream like that I wasn't going to clean and jerk over 100 kilos and uh, Courtney actually told me that in the back room and <laughs> fired me up so much. <clears throat> and then I know they kind of retracted those statements at the end of the meet and said that that I made a big statement and I feel that I did and I'm, I'm just very pleased with what I did and I am so thankful for everyone that showed up at the meet. <laughs> It was freaking electric. I don't know how to describe the feeling walking out onto the stage and seeing everyone lift their phone up to film me. I was like in awe and then having to quickly like refocus on my opener snatch, seeing that happen, seeing how many people were there to support me and it was just incredible and I'm so thankful. I truly feel like this was the beginning for me. I feel like this is a new chapter of my weightlifting career and I'm so excited. I'm hungry. I'm ready to work even harder now. I want to build on this for nationals in May. I am disappointed that I didn't make the Pan Am team, but at the same time, I'm very realistic about where I am at right now, 
And I'm also very encouraged by this performance showing me where I can be in another six months, in another year, in another two years. And I'm not going to count myself out for this quad for international teams. Just being able to hang with such accomplished and amazing lifters that I admire so much. Mary and Jess are so good. Maddie Sasser is so freaking good. And just to even have my name somewhat mentioned in this group of women is an accomplishment in itself. And it's cool because I started from the bottom. My first national meet in, I believe, 2014, I bombed in the clean and jerk with like 83. <laughs> now I'm snatching in the 90s. And I finally have a good spread between my snatch and clean and jerk. I know what I need to work on now. I need to get my legs stronger. I need to get my back stronger. I need the heavy clean to not take so much out of me so I can execute the jerk. My jerks were feeling very good, so I know I can make that jerk if I had conserved a bit more energy in the clean. And I think the biggest thing I'm walking away with under my belt from this meet is the, the confidence that I carried on the platform and the energy that I brought with me to my lifts, how poised I was when we were having to make changes, and I just trusted my team that I was working with. I'm just excited. I'm excited about weightlifting again. I truly fell in love with my sport again. That was so much fun. And then getting to meet all of you at the expo that showed up, it's been it's been an incredible trip. And I just I'm just thrilled to be here and I'm really excited to keep going. It's day four here at the Arnold. The rest of the weekend I just get to enjoy the expo and do some booth working, all the fun stuff now that the competition and hard part is over. <laughs>